What a great segment we have for you this week. Sports Director Jay Kidwell got a chance to talk with the voice of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. Jay was able to see how things are going for Dolphin at his house in Dubuque. Well, this is an absolute thrill. I am joined by the voice of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Mr. Gary Dolphin. Dolph, great to have you with us. First off, uh, we know you're home in Dubuque. Just want to check in with you. Hope you're doing well. How have you been the last couple of months uh, through this whole sequence? Uh, that's a great question, Jay. It's been, uh, uh, this will be my, uh, let's see, this will be my 49th year in broadcasting, and I don't think I've ever had a spring or a start of summer uh, this quiet, uh, honestly. And that's not, not to say I'm not enjoying it. We have three grandkids, nine, seven, and one, so I've been getting, uh, making up for a lot of lost time with them, and they've been an absolute delight to hang out with here the last uh, couple months. But I, I'm getting kind of antsy for uh, some kind of football. Hopefully it gets here and arrives on time. But yeah, I had a, uh, a trip planned to France uh, in July. I was going to host a, a group to France and to uh, Normandy Beach. As you know, I'm a huge uh, military history buff, and uh, that was the next uh, uh, nugget I was going to cross off my bucket list. Uh, that obviously got canceled along with everything else. We hope to do that trip next July. And uh, I've, I've stayed fairly busy, quite honestly, uh, uh, with, with uh, the Hawkeyes uh, in this uh, downtime. We're doing uh, weekly podcasts. I'm, I'm really into the podcast now. Uh, in fact, I, uh, uh, I'm going to interview Marshall Yanda and uh, get his thoughts on his incredible 13-year career with the Baltimore Ravens as he just retired, one of the great Iowa linemen uh, of all time. And I have no doubt he'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer in the NFL. Uh, and, and so we've got Bobby Hansen was on this past week talking about Michael Jordan's uh, uh, The Last Dance. So we've had a, a nice cross-section of current Hawkeyes, former Hawkeyes. We've uh, reproduced some of the great Hawkeye classic games uh, over my uh, 23 years uh, in this chair. Uh, and we're doing uh, kind of an offtake, an offshoot, a copy of Joe Buck, who, uh, if you remember, put out a a call for videos uh, a month or so ago, a few months back, because he was getting bored sitting at home. And so we call them uh, the Iowa Backyard Videos, and I'm narrating, creating play-by-play -play for three-year-old Johnny shooting a basketball. Those have been kind of fun. you got to get awful creative with, with some of these kids. But uh, we've had a blast. We've had videos from Tokyo and Omaha and Comanche and uh, in your neck of the woods. So I've, uh, I've been able to occupy my time. I haven't played any golf yet. Uh, the weather has not been conducive enough, at least for me. It, it's been a, uh, obviously what's happened the last week with Iowa football has kind of rocked everybody, uh, Jay, but hopefully uh, they get that figured out and we can move forward. But I'm looking forward to September. I, I don't want it to get here too fast, but I am looking forward to, uh, uh, to the, the coming football season. Uh, you know, what's really uh, been weird is, Usually after spring football, which they didn't have, we'd roll right into the uh, the iClub uh, banquet tour with a stop in the Quad Cities, and all of those things have been washed away with the pandemic. So it's it's been kind of unique, kind of uh, kind of spooky, kind of yeah. kind of different, and weird. Uh, like we're in a we're like we're in a time warp, but uh, we're starting to work our way back out of things, and hopefully uh, better days ahead. I'm I'm sure there are better days ahead.